Hey, it's Gardner Shakola here with Gardner James, and we're going to make a watermelon feta cheese mint salad. We've made this before. There's a video on our YouTube channel with Gardner Jerry, who is actually behind the camera today, uh, making this salad. But today we're going to do a little bit more details. So first, I'm going to bring over the watermelon. And last night, I cut up a huge watermelon. We are going to my parents' house, and we're making a large quantity of this. So if you make this at home and you don't have a huge family or not making it for a huge event, you may want to use a, a baby watermelon or a half a watermelon. But this is an entire watermelon. So the, but before we do anything with this watermelon, we actually have to make the dressing for the salad. So let's make the dressing. So over here in the dressing, we have a few ingredients. We have lemon juice. This is six tablespoons of lemon juice. We have olive oil. This is a fourth cup of olive oil. Then we have salt and pepper. And I love mason jars. As you can see, I have mason jars everywhere. And Gardner James, go ahead and pour the lemon juice into this mason jar. So we got the lemon juice in the mason jar. Okay, then go ahead and add the olive oil. And then we're going to add the salt and the pepper. And I'll do this because this is a little bit more tricky. So we got the salt in here. And that is a one and a half teaspoons of salt. And then we have one teaspoon of black pepper. Now I'm going to screw this lid on really tight because lemon juice and olive oil if you see there the oil is sitting on top of the juice you want to make sure it gets mixed together Gardner and James would you like to do the honors of shaking this up mm -hmm. so he's going to shake that up really 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 good so we can get that mixed together and that's our dressing watermelon watermelon is very uh is porous so if you if your dressing is too strong when you bite into that watermelon, it's just going to have a strong taste. So you only need a little bit of dressing. Even though you see that we have a lot of watermelon, you don't need that much dressing. So, all right, James, I think that's good. So as you see here, it's all lovely mixed together. And then making a salad is pretty simple. The other ingredients in the salad is feta cheese. We have a cup of feta cheese here. And then we have six tablespoons of freshly chopped mint that we picked from our garden. We have three bowls here because I wanted to make sure we were able to divide this watermelon up nicely. So what I'm going to do, James, this, this is really huge. Well, you can help me too. Put some watermelon in the bottom of that bowl. And then I'm going to put some in the bottom of this bowl. And I really wish I had some green bowls because I really like the contrast between red and green. But typically what I'm picking from the garden is green. So I don't have to worry about um, that. But it's okay. That's why we got the white bowl out. So that's good, James. No more, no more in that one. I'm going to put a little bit more in these. So essentially what you want to do is throw up in your bowl with a layer, a layer of watermelon. Once you get a layer of watermelon, you are going to then, you're not eating that watermelon. Put it back in the bowl. I want to smell it. You don't need to smell the watermelon. Go ahead and take a little bit of mint. Put a little bit over. So I'm going to do that over here. I'm just going to put a little mint over. And then we're going to use the spoon that we just had earlier. And we're going to do a little feta cheese and sprinkle that over. So go ahead and do a little feta cheese and sprinkle that over. That's okay if it doesn't get all the way over. Because essentially we're building the salad. And so now we're going to continue these steps. Oh, sorry about that. So I'll put some more watermelon on top. I'll put the spoon down. Put more watermelon on top. Cover up what you just did. And once you have that covered, you'll go back and do what we did, which is sprinkle some mint. I think that's a little bit more there. Your bowl. All right, that's good. Go ahead and we'll sprinkle some mint. Mm -hmm. Trying to get all over there. And then you layer in some more, uh, put in some more feta cheese. And I'm actually going to put in a little bit more than I put last time because I don't think I got a good sprinkle last time. Mm -hmm. 
And this will be our last layer. So essentially take three layers. So come on James, help me do this last one. And this should take up the rest of the watermelon. Now I used to work in a pizza place when I was in college. And one of my jobs, I actually didn't make pizza. I ran the cash register and I made the fruit salad and the pizza rolls. So I, I learned how to cut a watermelon. Unfortunately, when I first started cutting this watermelon last night, I could hear my manager in my ear saying that this, there's a word, I can't think of it right now, for cutting evenly um, your squares. And I could hear her in my ear like saying, like, that's not even. So <laughs> some of these squares are almost the same size and some of these aren't. Um, but look, I've been out of the college for a minute, so <laughs> I <laughs> just didn't have that uh, in the forefront of doing it last night. And the reason I uh, cut the watermelon up be uh, beforehand and chilled it just makes it a little bit easier for the, um, to work with the watermelon. So James, let's go ahead and layer this in one more time. Go ahead and grab some mint here. And make sure you're getting around the whole bowl. I'm going to add some more mint over here. And then we can use up the rest of this feta cheese. And the reason, oh yeah, go ahead. I'm doing your bowl and my bowls too. The reason we're layering in instead of throwing everything in and then mixing is because watermelon is fragile. So if we try to put our hands through it, the watermelon pieces will start falling apart. The feta cheese will start sticking to your hands. And then the mint will start getting extra bruised up. And then the mint wouldn't be green anymore, it would start being brown. So that's why we're doing a layering technique instead of putting our hands and mixing it all uh, together. And we learned that one the hard way. Yep. So now we have this, some of the salt and pepper that got to the top. And we're just going to pour this over. It will, my hands are slippery. <laughs> there we go. It will seep down through the watermelon. And I, James, I want to pour this. <laughs> so I'm going to pour a little bit on this one. A little bit on this one. And if you want to, you can take a couple of spoons and lightly turn this over. But you really don't need that much. You see that we only use those very few ingredients and we have all of this. So here you go. This is our feta cheese, mint, and watermelon salad and you know here um, uh, we believe that anyone can be a gardener you just have to get ready get set and 